What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Player Ratings. Uh, and we have a lot of things to uh, go over uh, because um, there have been some weird performances, uh, some weird decisions which didn't help certain players perform. Uh, so we're going to go over that after a, a disappointing result. That's all uh, I want to say. Just to kick it off uh, before we get into it. Uh, I'm not going to talk about refereeing decisions um, because they are what they are now. Uh, as long as a club has that we will accept anything mentality, it's pointless uh, as fans to put any sort of energy in that because that's the club's policy. They want to be the good guys. They want to... Never complain and whatsoever. Uh, so it's pointless for fans to do that. To do that, you know, take that to take that energy, take it to the club because these are the guys, you know, tolerating it. So that's that. Um, so we can get straight into the ratings. Excuse me. Uh, before we do that, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and let's go. Okay. So let's start off with the back line. Um, I give Chesney a six because he had absolutely nothing to do besides picking that ball um, out of his net. And he couldn't, you know, that was just, it was a tap-in. So he couldn't have done anything about it. Other than that, he had absolutely no work because Genoa are a garbage. They're not a good team. <laughs> They're a really poor team. Uh, I expected more in terms of just pure intensity, not quality, intensity. And they didn't even bring that. It, like, it was just... He had nothing to do. It was a bad side. So I gave him a 6. I gave Gatti and Bremer a 5.5. Uh, the goal he conceded, you know, it, it happened because of them, you can say. But it was unlucky. You know, it just bounced off um, Gatti's... I don't know, what was it? Chin, knee, whatever. And it caught everybody uh, for, uh, from surprise, out of surprise. Um by surprise, excuse me. And uh, yeah, Bremer was too late to react. It was just the spur of the moment and they conceded. Other than that, they didn't give away anything. Like I said, because Genoa are not a good team. The only danger or whatever you want to call it were just maybe a set piece here and there or just, you know, booting it along, taking shots from outside of the box. Other than that, yeah, you know, I c they conceded that goal, but it was one of those goals that I was like, yeah. Uh, I think the issue was before that ball reached uh, the edge of the box, it was, or like it reached Gatti, it was before, we you know, when two general players were free to look that ball, see that ball drop down, control it, put it into the box. I think that's where the issue is, not really what happened afterwards. I gave Danilo a five. I thought he was bad. Um, I, he had a very bad game, you know. Uh, he got outpaced a couple of times, got away with a few things here and there, made some stupid fouls. He wasn't good on the ball. He just had a bad game, you know. Um, and I'm not going to say I told you so because I thought last week he was good. Um, he w he was just bad. Like, he wasn't good. So, I, I gave him a five. Um, not in terms of defensively. Maybe there it was even shaky. But um, he was trying too much and it wasn't coming off. And I think he, you know, should be smart enough to keep it clean and simple at that stage. Uh, but he didn't do that. I gave him a five because I, I don't think he was very good. That midfield, it was straight a straight disaster. Um, it lacks so much. It lacks everything. And I want to hear it's about Rabiot. The same issues happen every single week with or without Rabiot. We just got away with a few things here and there. Would have been, would have been, would it have it, would had it been? <laughs> if Rabiot was there, would have it have been better? Maybe potentially, yes. I still think we didn't. Would we would have not? Jesus Christ, we would have not won this game um, yesterday. Even if Rabiot was there, I thought it just it wasn't good enough overall from the team, the idea, everything. So I gave Cambiasso six and a half. I thought he was very good. Second half a bit uh, less. In the first half, he was extremely dominant. Um, he needs to string ninety minutes together. Uh, he does uh, because I think the the difference with the first half and the second half is big, uh, maybe a bit too uh, big in my opinion, uh, but he had a good game, I thought he had a very good game, so I gave him six and a half, I gave McKenny a five and a half, I thought his energy and, you know, his, his work rate were again very good, but I'll keep saying it, at one point, 
when we, you need more than work work rate, excuse me, and just intensity, he cannot deliver. Uh, and he holds back certain attacks uh, because he cannot make the play. He slows it down, and that remains an issue. You know, for all the work ethics, whatever, it, it, it's also very clear because the team is lacking a lot of ideas and it makes it extremely obvious, in my opinion. You know, so I gave him a five and a half. I gave Locatelli a five. I thought he was bad, period. Um, people know what I think about Locatelli. He can have very good games and he can have these type of games where he's not good, giving the ball away. He's just, he wasn't good. And I still think whatever people say or whatever Allegri says, I don't want to see him in that position, you know, long term. It's, it's just not it, you know. It, it's 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 too hot and cold for me to say. Yeah, he can pinpoint, he can pin that position down. Even when he said, you know, he's improving, I, I, he's improving way too slow, in my opinion. I'm just, I'm just not a fan. I don't think I will never be a fan of seeing him play in that position, especially because it's just too hot and cold. He can have amazing games, and he can have these type of games. Uh, I gave Miriti five. He wasn't good. Uh, he wasn't good, especially towards the end or like before he got subbed. He was uh, losing the ball because he was not really aware what was uh, happening around him. Um, so I gave him a five. Uh, we didn't see him for two, three weeks, including. And then he needs to start, but he didn't do well. He wasn't good. Uh, in the first half, he was anonymous, like everybody, a bit, uh, in my opinion. Uh, but in the second half, especially the last 10 minutes, he was on that pitch, maybe uh, even longer. Um, he was giving the ball away too much. And with giving the ball away, he wasn't just misplacing it. He was just getting rushed off the ball. Um, so he didn't have a good game. Five. Kostic, five. Like I said, if he, doesn't comp- if he cannot put a good cross in... <sighs> He offers absolutely nothing. I'm sorry. Like he offers, uh, he offers close to nothing. The only thing he wants to do. I remember a moment. I think it was like minute fifty, something like that. Miretti was in an extremely good position to receive the ball at the edge of the box, and he was yelling at Kostic for a good ten seconds. And Kostic, Kostic, excuse me, had two, three opportunities to play in that pass. Instead of doing that, he just puts in the lowest cross you could put ever imagine and just kicks away. And the Genoa defender, I think it was Dragosin, just boots it away. And I was like, come on, you know, uh, just look up. Come on, j- just start to connect with your players. Start to do something. And he doesn't do that. And that also doesn't help Miretti or whoever plays Chiesa. It doesn't help. It absolutely doesn't help to create anything fluid. So five, I thought he was poor. Um, Vlaovic, four and a half. I thought he had a, I thought he had a very bad, bad game, you know. Um, <laughs> um, I didn't like... You know, at the end, yeah, Keza scored. I, pff, man, uh, Allegri said Vlaovic decided to give that pen away. I'm like, could fine, but that's a lot. That's extremely telling, in my opinion. Like you are struggling big time. Then you know, in my opinion as well, to uh, get some rhythm. You know, keep it going, have some belief. If you give up the the pen. Uh, it's gotten into your head, and you can see that throughout the game. He was he was poor. He was losing possession. He was got nudge of the ball. He missed that big chance, and it, yes, it bounced before he take a hit, it, it, before he can take a shot. But the way that ball was coming, as a, a striker, you need to feel like I need to take one little step forward so I, I can reach it cleanly. And he like he's struggling with his own with his, with with himself, excuse me, and giving away that pen. I think was just cherry on the top in terms of uh, mentally he's not in the right place. You know he's um, it, it's it's in his head now, and you can see that. And I did I like at one point I was like, yeah, I like that he gave the pen to Chiesa, but on the flip side I was like, I don't like it because that kind of shows that it really got to you, and that's not a good sign for a striker. I gave Keza a six, six and a half. Uh, I thought he was, I thought he, there was, this was one of his best games because he was very involved. Um, he should have scored the second. That's why I should have given him a six, to be honest, not a six and a half. Like, you get the gift from the, from the goalie. Um, like, he takes too much time, and, you know, he gives the goalie time to, uh, make that safe so uh, he, he could have closed that game probably with a 2-1 he would have won it unless you made another mistake and handed Genoa a goal um, but he was better compared to the last couple of weeks so six and a half for me the subs that's where I have a big issue 
Uh, I, I didn't think Milik was good, but Milik was always coming on. I don't think he had a good game. I, I struggle to imagine when his last good game was probably Torino because he scored. Uh, Wea, I was not expecting a lot of him because how many minutes did he have this season? Uh, he wasn't awful. He wasn't also good. It was just... Like, the last 20 minutes was just chaos. Like, it, I was not sure what I was watching. There was no idea behind it. It was just somehow get it done. What I do have an issue is is the last two, Junior and Yildiz. Junior hasn't played for about two months. Let's say two months. And after a game, I see people saying, ah, oh, and that's why Junior doesn't play. And that pisses me off completely. He hasn't played for two months. The first time he gets a good portion of the minutes... He plays him as a mid-sala. And forget the last five minutes where he can play his natural position. He plays him as a mid-sala. And then you have people saying, oh, that's why Junior is not playing. Why? Because he needs to perform after two months, being a young kid, basically still, not having any rhythm in a position that it, that's not his, in a team that's full of chaos the last 15 minutes, 20 minutes. How crazy is that to single out junior and call him out for that that's just crazy yield is three minutes what what's the point oh keen is not there you will get more minutes three minutes what 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 actually is the point of that of the, those subs i don't get it you're chasing a game give him 10 50 minutes let him like 15 20 let him show what he can do let, let yeah let him show what he can offer he's not gonna offer anything in three minutes that's crazy. The only thing you can get is him getting at the end of it out of nowhere. But that's not showing off. That's just being at the right moment at the right time. We are not going to see anything from him if you can give him three minutes here and there. And that is in a, in a game that we needed to win. And we were chasing against a poor side who were offering nothing unless we gave him the ball. Gave them the ball. And even then, they had no idea how to uh, actually handle it. And I, it remains an issue for me. You know, I see people singling out Junior. I'm like, whatever. I'm I'm just, just sell them because this is pointless. You know, if this is what we're going to create among the fan base, it's pointless. It really is. Overall, it was a poor game. Like I said about the referees at the beginning. And then you have Locatelli and Allegri speaking about missed chances. I have no idea what they're talking about. I have no idea. They were talking about missed chances after the 1-0 and after the 1-1, one, one, I have no idea what chances he's talking about. The Chiesa one, good, but that's not great. Like you, it was a gift. The, the Bremer one, it wasn't, was it a chance? It was a chance, yes. Like, statistically, it was a chance. But, like, it was just, he couldn't do anything about it. Like, it was just against his chest, and the goalie made a crazy save, you know? But other than that, it, like, just look at the eye test. Forget about stats for once. Just look at the eye test, and what does the eye test tell you? throughout the last couple of months basically but those are my ratings so let me know what you think if you agree disagree like the video subscribe to the channel hit that bell notification and i will be back tomorrow ciao